Moving on is an intervention that I designed to help exercise or to help breast cancer survivors exercise more. This evening, I'm going to share one small piece of it with you: the use of narrative communication to deliver motivational health behavior change messages. So I want you to imagine for a minute that someone is going to try to get you to exercise more. Imagine this, should, this could be Shanti, Don Richardson, Jillian Michaels, your healthcare provider, or perhaps a scientist. Now I'm going to suggest that the person who may be most effective may be your next door neighbor. <laughs> Not exactly. But according to narrative theory, the person who may be most effective to motivate you is someone who is similar to you, who you can relate with. Now, narrative communication, narrative stories, um, contain a story with a setting, such as cancer survivorship, characters that present a problem, such as fatigue, and a resolution, such as exercise. Narrative communication is unique in that it increases self-efficacy by providing a model who is able to successfully complete the desired activity. It increases um, information processing by improving uh, attention, recall, and um, processing of information. It facilitates uh, the feeling of social connectedness and social interactions. And finally, it um, provides a sense of authenticity by conveying so, um, emotional complexities. Now, I may be qualified as an athlete, coach, trainer, healthcare provider to counsel people on exercise. However, I have no idea what it feels like to be told you have cancer, go through treatment, and deal with long-term effects. So how qualified am I to talk to breast cancer survivors? and tell them that even though you're exhausted, if you just exercise, you'll feel better. So, I'm about to introduce you to three women who do know what it feels like to be told that you've had breast cancer, go through treatment, and experience the long-term effects. It is now my privilege to share with you a piece of their stories. Meet Christy. Throughout the cancer treatment, I felt better when I exercised, but there were times I felt like crap and I just couldn't. I felt it was important to give myself a break when I needed to. When I had a good day, I would take advantage of it and exercise. It would really lift my spirits. I did spin class when I could. I didn't care that I was bald. But it was nice that the spin studio was dark. When they turn out the lights, you're just like everybody else. For a while, I was able to forget I was a cancer patient. And it was nice to just let it go sometimes. Meet Carla. Before I was diagnosed, I would have never believed that I would be someone who gets up at 5 a.m. every weekday. I just wasn't someone who would do that. But now, I am more aware of my health. When I'm lying there in the morning, I say to myself, I need to get up. I got to do it. I just got to do it. At first, sometimes I don't feel like it. But once I get out there, I feel rejuvenated, and I have a lot more energy. And finally, meet Talanya. After my third chemo treatment, a coworker passed away from her recurrence of breast cancer. I started taking kickboxing classes. When I put on my boxing gloves and when I kicked the targets, I would think about cancer, hit it even harder. I would say in my mind, you don't have control of me. I'm going to live and not die. I just kept hitting. I would also think about my coworker and that I was continuing to fight for her. I didn't care about how badly my bones ached or that my head was bald. No one asked or said anything. It's been almost five years since the diagnosis. Now I find exercise helps with the pain I have from the medication I still have to take. When I wake up, the neuropathy in my feet is painful. I have to push through it to get up and going. If I don't exercise, it gets harder to move. It gets harder even just to get up and walk. I know if I just move at least 30 minutes a day, I have a better possibility of not having cancer come back. It's a life decision to do better and be better. I've always said, Cancer, you're not going to defeat me. I'm going to defeat you. That's my motto, no matter what. So these stories were, including, were included in the Moving On booklet, and I have analyzed the data, and I'm happy to say that the intervention did increase exercise 
and that participants reported that these stories were the most useful part of the intervention.